In 1707, Bahadur Shah took over the Mughal Empire. He was able to start a civil war amongst the Maratha by releasing Sahuji, an imprisoned Maratha prince who also seized the throne. But Bahadur Shah couldn't exploit the Maratha's instability because, after the death of his father Aurangzeb, a number of rebellions broke out, and the Mughal court descended into factionalism. For instance, the former Rajput ruler of Jodhpur, Ajit Singh, returned and tried to claim independence and Kam Baksh, Bahadur Shah's other brother, made preparations in the south to challenge his rule. These were defeated, however, in the north the Sikhs continued to resist. The last of the Sikh gurus, Gobind Singh, had been killed in 1708. But under Banda Singh Bahadur, the Sikhs won a number of battles against the Mughals and destroyed many of their towns within the region. Plus, as Mughal control diminished, the governor of the Karnatik, Zadatullah Khan, declared independence. Meanwhile, Bahadur Shah sent an army north to suppress the Sikhs, but died in 1712. One of his sons, Azim Ush Shan, was killed in the ensuing succession crisis, allowing his other son, Jahandar Shah, to take the throne. He, however, lost more northern territory to the Sikhs, and his nephew, Farooq Shiyar, sought to avenge his father and claim the throne. With the help of the powerful generals, the Said brothers, he was able to take over the Mughal Empire in 1713, and together they defeated Banda Singh Bahadur in the north. But they couldn't re-establish control over the Punjab, and the Rajputs continued to rebel. And as the Mughal Empire descended into factionalism, regional rulers like Mushid Kuli Khan of Bengal also established an independent state. In 1719, Farooq Shia hoped to remove the Said brothers from power and reassert his authority and independence. But he was defeated and the Said brothers installed and removed two more emperors in the same year, before installing Muhammad Shah to the throne. However, Muhammad Shah called upon an experienced viceroy, Asif Jah I, to help challenge the Said brothers' authority. They were successful and, as a reward, Asif Jah was given the post of Grand Vizier. However, unable to reform the Mughal court, he resigned from his post a few years later and marched an army against the governor of the Deccan in 1724. He ruled Hyderabad virtually independently and hoped to exploit the civil war going on amongst the Maratha, who had been launching raids in the Deccan. Looking to defeat the Maratha king Sahuj, he allied himself with his rival Sambaji II and invaded. But he was defeated at the Battle of Palkhead in 1729. The competing Maratha factions then made peace in 1731 and under Shahuji they counterattacked. Maratha generals like Baji Rao defeated the Mughals in successive battles and had gained control over Malwa by 1735. And as the Maratha continued to advance, new states like Ode became somewhat independent under Sadat Ali Khan. The Maratha then split their armies in two and marched on Delhi in 1737. Sadat Ali Khan was called to stop them and he was able to defeat one army, but the other army bypassed the Mughal camp and sacked Delhi and the Maratha also defeated Asif Jar of Hyderabad at the Battle of Bhopal in late 1737. In the following peace treaties, the Maratha expanded a great deal and launched small assaults on Bengal and the surrounding regions. Meanwhile, to the south, both Karnatik and Mysore had expanded as well. Plus, the state of Vinad became Travancore, and they would successfully fight off a Dutch invasion in the 1740s. But the Mughals faced a new threat to the north. In Persia, Nader Shah created the Afsharid dynasty in the 1730s. He greatly expanded his empire, and looking to exploit the Mughal Empire's weakness, he invaded and sacked Delhi. His armies famously took the Peacock Throne, and in the PC annexed all the territory north of the Indus River. As for the Maratha, Shahuji died in 1749, but because he had no children of his own, he had agreed to adopt Rajram II, the grandson of Tarabai, the widow of a former Maratha ruler. Rajram II's rule was initially challenged by the powerful Balaji Baji Rao, but the two made peace and Rajram II was reduced to being a figurehead. The Maratha therefore began to transform into a confederacy with tribes holding power over certain regions. However, in the north, an Afghan Ahmad Shah Durrani made a new empire and first invaded India in the 1740s. Although the Maratha were facing a number of internal problems, in 1752 they agreed to help the Mughals fight the Durrani Empire. In return, they annexed most of the Mughal Empire except Delhi. They fought off a few invasion attempts, but they were ultimately defeated at the Battle of Panipat in 1761. Durrani therefore checked Maratha expansion and annexed large parts of India, where he killed tens of thousands of Sikhs. However, while all of this was going on, the French and the British had been fighting the Carnatic Wars in the south. 